everybody and welcome to my channel today i'm going to give you my honest review of the Le labo santal 33 body oil which means the laboratory in French, is a perfume company that opened up in 2016 by two L'Oreal executives. They wanted to create a collection not to please everyone, but just a small amount of people who could connect with a soulful perfume and aesthetic. So I ordered this body oil from Nordstrom's a couple weeks ago when they had a sale um, and somebody put on Twitter, hurry up, Le Labo is on sale, buy it. Um, and everybody kind of everybody kind of freaked out because this stuff is never on sale so i got this little bottle how many ounces is it four ounces 120 milliliters this four ounce bottle i got it for 52 dollars regularly it is priced i think it's regularly priced around 70 dollars so i only got it i got it for 52 dollars now this is a a cult brand but it's like super popular somebody on into the gloss was like everybody in new york wears it now and if you wear it you're like a basic b yeah, and i'm like whatever i can just wear it because that term does not apply to me the santo 33 started out as a candle and then it progressed on to a fragrance and then i guess they started adding like body oils and laundry detergent and that kind of things so the candle scent can be found in like high-end hotels a lot of celebrities wear it um allegedly j-lo used to order 100 to 200 candles a month supposedly now she's only down to 50 a month hmm, i wonder what she replaced that scent with hmm, interesting i have to look that up so the santa 33 scent was inspired by the marlboro man ads from the 80s they made the scent to embody the spirit and the sensuality of someone that has the ultimate freedom which they saw was this cowboy like man that smokes cigarettes a bunch of other celebrities wear it ryan reynolds wears it victor cruz wears it which kind of makes sense if we are um if the scent is supposed to embody someone with the ultimate freedom remember when victor cruz had texted his 200 side chicks all in one group chat you have to have a lot of freedom to do something like that so yes yeah, so i now I'm, I'm sensing the trend okay brad pitt also wears it and you know somebody asked brad pitt a couple months ago I'm like oh what scent do you wear what is that you smell like and he said this is just my natural musk which ding 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 that now everything makes sense i'm not a huge fan of the scent so, I should have researched it before I purchased it, but I was in a hurry because all the Le Labo scents and stuff, like everything was selling out because they were on sale and they've never been on sale before. So, if I had have done my research, I would have considered the fact that no, I don't want to smell like a cowboy. Like if any cowboy in the world that I want to smell like, maybe I would consider smelling like Denzel Washington from The Magnificent Seven, but like, just maybe. I should have researched that ahead of time. And so going back to what I said earlier about how Brad Pitt, when somebody asked him what Brad, when somebody asked Brad Pitt what he smells like, he just said he smells like natural musk. This makes sense because my main complaint with this product is that I can't smell it. Like if I open the bottle now, I smell it and it's like really, really strong. It's nauseatingly strong. Ooh, it just made my stomach hurt. Like it's that strong. However, when you put it on, you don't smell anything. It does not last at all. So this scent is a genderless scent and I normally like masculine woodsy scents, but this is just like too sharp for me and I don't know what it is. Um, so it's kind of made out of woods, leather notes, rum accord, rum accord. It has a smoky side to it, um, which are all scents that I do like and have appreciated a lot in the past. However, it just feels like too sharp for me. And I would like something soft to kind of round it out, like a vanilla or maybe a tiny bit of floral, something to kind of more of a sharper floral to kind of give it a little bit of a softer edge <sighs> since i bought this 52 dollars bottle of body oil 
I didn't just want to throw it away. I wanted to find some use for it. So let me tell you what I did. In this little bottle here, I mixed some almond oil, some vitamin E oil, um, just a little bit, some Egyptian musk fragrance oil, and some baby oil together and that really rounded out the scent for me and made it so much more bearable um i didn't like make write down like what i put i just did a little bit a little bit a little bit smell it you know just to smell um and i really really appreciate how it smells it smells so good now it smells so much better now i love it but still i have this just one little complaint that you can't really smell it so honestly, my use for this will be like something to like just keep in my purse, like keep in my purse, um, pull it out when I'm at work and like somebody's annoying me, my coworker is getting on my nerves or somebody sent me an annoying email. Um, I just would pull this out, pull this out, put a little on for aromatherapy, just remind myself that I am fabulous and smelling good. And you know, we got old and dusty, we got crusty and dusty over there, and we have fabulous and smelling good over here. What's the difference between young and old and dusty? Young and old and dusty. So that would be something I would wear for, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Le Labo Stancil 33 scent, I'm not done with Le Labo at all. So I was doing some research, um, I found out that Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce actually had two Le Labo candles in her sandcastles video from the Lemonade album. Now if you know anything about Beyonce, you know that she does not put anything in a visual unless it has some sort of significance, some sort of meaning. What that meaning is, what that significance is, I don't know right now, but I really want to smell it. You know how that old saying goes? good enough for Beyonce good enough for me so I'm gonna try it I'll try it I think I'll try the candle this time instead of the oil I want to see what Beyonce was smelling and feel it maybe I'll get the candles and burn them while I listen to castles, which is such a sad song and see how it goes so if you like Le Labo, you have any fragrances, please comment and let me know which smells good. Like, do you have any recommendations? Which one I should try next? Um, it, have you compared the body oil to the candle, to the fragrance? I know there's going to be some disconnect when you have a candle versus a fragrance and probably versus a body oil as well. Um, should I keep it in the refrigerator? It preserves the scent longer if you keep it in the refrigerator. So should I put this in the refrigerator? Does it matter? So let me know in the comments below, um, especially if you guys have tried Santo 26. Is it good? You know, it should be good because Beyonce likes it. So let me know. See ya.